Once upon a time, there was a big city full of millions of sights and scenes and all sorts of cool scenery. There were trees, plants, and animals, all thriving to their common nature. One day, a train arrived as the loading man filled the wagon with valuable jewelry. Gee, look at all this fine jewelry. Wonder how much it's worth. Little to the loading man, a magpie who was observing the train station roof caught sight. If you don't know, magpies are birds with a little knack for shiny objects. Ooh, so shiny. It must be mine. But how will I collect all of it? Hi, hey, Jim. It's time for our lunch break. Finally, I'm starving. The magpie saw his chance. If I'm fast enough, I can grab every single one of that jewelry. So the magpie collected the jewelry one by one. He flew back and forth, up and down, right and left, until before you know it, there was nothing left. There, that should do it. Suddenly, the magpie noticed a shiny diamond he had almost forgot. Oh, almost missed this one. Oh, this one I'd say is the finest one ever. I would never let anything happen to this one. What about the others? Oh, none of your business! So the magpie flew off of his last treasure, only to add it to his collection. Hmm, my tree is awfully small for all this precious stuff. Should I let go of some of it? Nah. The magpie was so excited about his jewelry hoard, dancing and prancing for joy, he didn't notice his diamond ring had suddenly gone missing. What? The narrator said what? What did you say, Mr. Jealous? Um, magpie, your diamond is gone. <laughs> what? Where is it? What happened to it? Who took it is the mystery. Did you take it? Um, no, magpie. I'm just a narrator. Then, if you didn't take it, and it's gone, then that means <gasps> it was stolen. I must find it. So the magpie went on a search to figure out who the suspect was for taking his diamond. I will not rest until I find it. Whoever stole it will have a piece of my mind. First, magpie decided to go to the forest to ask his friend Fox. Fox! Fox! Oh, hello, magpie. What are you doing here? Oh, don't you greet me with friendly lies, Fox. I know you took it. Took what? My diamond ring, of course. You snuck it out while I wasn't looking. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't take this so-called diamond ring. Rubbish. You stole it. You think so? Check my den. So the magpie searched everywhere in the fox's den. But he came to no avail. It seems you didn't take it unless you hid really well around here. Maybe you're honest, Fox, but I don't trust you. I seriously don't know what you're talking about. So the magpie flew over to the village neighborhood so he could ask his friend, Cat. Oh, hello, magpie. Hello, Cat. Where's my diamond? What? My diamond ring. Don't lie to me. I know you took it. I don't even know what you're talking about, Magpie. I don't even have thumbs. Maybe you ate it? Describe it to me. Shiny blue hard. Oh, no, never. That's like a pebble. Hmm. Seems to me you didn't take it either. As I don't trust you, I'll go hear out someone else. Right. Goodbye, Magpie. So the magpie flew over to the ponds where he decided to ask his friend, Duck. 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 Oh, good day, magpie. What brings you out this fine day? Care for some swimming? I'd rather go searching than swimming with a thief. Thief? Swimming? What are you on to? You uh -huh. took my diamond ring. Confess it, Duck. I know you took it. You probably hid it down below your murky waters, so I couldn't get it from you. My apologies, Magpie, but I don't even know what you're talking about. Whatever. Case is closed. Go make yourself useful and give it to me. Okay, suit yourself. By the way, what does this diamond thingy look like? <sighs> Shiny, blue, and tasteless. 
Right, down under, here I go. So the duck searched the bottom of his murky lake, but once again came to no avail. Sorry, Magpie, couldn't find any of those diamonds you were talking about, but I did find these shiny pebbles. No, oh, it's fine. It's getting dark. I better head home now. Shout out that there's nothing else I can help you with? No, thank you. Thanks in return. Take care, Magpie. So the desperate magpie searched everywhere else he could before it reached dark. He searched up high, he searched down low, he searched everywhere he could. But everywhere he looked, he came to no sign of the diamond ring. Oh, where is it? I've lost it, I've lost it! Magpie returned home sadly to his hoard, still soaking over the loss of his ring. Oh well, at least I have all this other stuff I'll still hold on to. This stole ruby, this emerald necklace, this sharp object, this... Hang on, is it... No, it couldn't be the exact one. It is! My diamond ring! Oh, I found it, I found it! I wonder where it was the whole time it was sitting buried slightly under all the other treasure I had. Wait a minute. If the diamond was here this whole time, then... Oh no. I blamed Fox, Cat, and Doc for no reason. What a terrible friend am I. What should I do to make up for it? Perhaps it wouldn't be so bad to let go of some of this stuff, Magpie. As much as I despise you, you're right. I know exactly what I'll do tomorrow. The next day, Magpie flew all around the park shouting for everyone to come to his tree. Fox, Fox, come quick. Cat, cat, come quick! Doc, Doc, come quick! Until before you knew it, every animal in the entire park had come over to Magpie's tree. Now, now, everyone, settle down. Now, I, the greedy Magpie, have come to something the old me would never do. For my selfish behavior to those who are innocent, my apologies for being rude that way, and I am probably a terrible friend. So to make up for it, I want everyone, as well as some for myself, to have all this jewelry! Everyone got their fair share of jewelry, as well as the magpie, of course. Everyone was really happy, but no one was happier than the magpie himself. He, for once, learned that maybe sharing wasn't so bad after all. No, oh, I didn't need that stuff anyways. And so, everyone lived happily ever after. Well, mostly. Hey! Where did all the jewelry go?